Hello, hello. Welcome to episode two of Building a Happier Life. So last week we focused on working out. I'm actually not feeling great today or the last few days, so that's been taking a little bit of a back burner, despite the intention of this series is to kind of stack those habits on top of one another and make them sustainable and kind of just prioritize one, get used to it, make it a part of a routine and then bring in a new one. <laughs> yeah, I haven't actually been feeling great, so the working out hasn't been taking priority, but I think today might just try and do like a treadmill or something. I've been kind of just like had a bit of a cough, a bit of a cold, bit of a headache, bit of a tummy ache that it's just kind of like not quite bad but not great, not feeling not feeling my best. But that's okay. But then this week I thought that my habit that I'm going to try and get into is around screen time, which I know can be quite contentious. But we all know that the screens aren't great for us, uh, particularly when it comes to sleep and our eyes. And I think it's also interesting because a lot of good things that we do are on our screens as well, like reading books or doing our work. We can do that through our phones. So I'm not going to focus necessarily on like the all around screen time. That seems a little bit unhelpful. But I think for myself, the intention is really around mindless scrolling on social media. I again, maybe controversially, love social media. I think it's very much like a space for inspiration. I don't compare myself. If I'm comparing myself, I'm not doing well, but I find it very much like a space of inspiration and like people who inspire me and I want to enjoy their content and see what they're up to, that sort of thing. So that's really nice. However, the last week I spent 13 and a half hours on Instagram for an average of one hour and 55 minutes a day, which is horrendous. And I know just from my own headspace that that wasn't just me like looking at the people that I want to look at and consuming the content that I want to and like I'm seeking out. It was very much like all the suggested posts filling my feed. It was the explore page and getting lost down rabbit holes of stuff that I don't don't need to engage with. Um, and that doesn't make me feel good. So my intention around this is like, I know it's not going to be like a complete cut it off and I don't think that's sustainable either but it's about being more conscious and mindful of the time that I do spend on it because I do like it. I do find joy in it, but I don't want to use it as like a default distraction for myself and I don't want to waste an hour and 55 minutes a day. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I could be doing so much else. So like that should, it's like half an hour maximum should be what's going on there. Yeah, there are a few things that, sorry, my voice. Um, There are a few things that I think I'm going to try and that's going to be using physical things rather than my phone. So like physical books rather than on my Kindle, which again isn't really like Kindles. If, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If I'm using my Kindle and I'm still reading, I'm happy with that. I'm going to put like TV or YouTube and stuff that I watch on like the big TV. So it's physical. I'm away from my phone. What else? Yeah, more tangible things with my hands. So like colouring. I think I struggle like concentrating on like one thing and that's definitely a product of our generation I think but even like I, I really struggle with like binge watching television shows so if I put a tv show on in the background and I'm colouring I'm colouring and then I've just got a little bit of background noise and something that I'm kind of engaged with and I probably wouldn't watch elsewhere like I'm watching Dynasty at the moment and it's very fun very soapy very dramatic but I probably wouldn't just sit and watch it I'm colouring and kind of engaging with it while I'm watching it which I like, um, and there's probably lots, lots to be said about that. And also look at the Keenan's flowers that he got me. They're tulips, they're so perfect, perfect. It's supposed to be a spring flower and there is currently feet of snow outside, but it makes me feel happy to see the spring, even if it's not outside. Yeah, another thing that I've been working, this isn't sponsored, but I just downloaded it. It's called One Sec and it basically prompt you set up like an automation on your phone so every time you open instagram or whatever apps you want to deter yourself from opening it prompts you it makes you wait for like a big big deep breath and then it asks you it's like are you sure you want to open this you've attempted to open instagram 39 times in the last 24 hours and you're like oh that's a lot i don't need to go on here and then i often will prompt like no i don't want to go on here and i've just downloaded this so it's very much like a a new thing so let's see if it works keenan's had it for a while and so he's been on his instagram a lot less throughout the day so he has kind of like his designated scrolling time and then he doesn't open it in the day because it just kind of it's inconvenient which is perfect um so yeah i just want to sort of deter myself from that mindless scrolling of content that i don't 
want to look at because I don't enjoy it and it's not what I'm looking for or what I'm trying to get out of my time on Instagram <laughs> and it shouldn't be that deep I know it shouldn't and we should all get outside which we do or at least I do but yeah the last few weeks I think with feeling rough it's so easy to just distract yourself and look at other things and not have to like engage with the world around you it's easy to do it on a screen so I think that's the goal this week will be screen time episode two I'm not really sure how I'm going to showcase it because I, I film on my phone so I'm not going to be like filming myself like oh no no Instagram but I think I'll maybe just vlog sort of like here's what I'm choosing to do instead oh actually I just had the impulse to open Instagram and I don't need to so here's what I'm gonna do instead and here's some tips and tricks and like just thoughts at the end of the day and sort of maybe a daily review of like this is how much time I spent and I don't really use TikTok that much um, I don't have Twitter or X or whatever it is. I don't use Snapchat anymore. So the only social media I really use is Instagram. So I think I'm just going to focus in on that. <laughs> and then maybe at the end of the day, I can just be like, oh, okay, I spent this much time on Instagram today. How do I feel? What did I do on Instagram? What did I do without Instagram? That sort of thing. So <laughs> it's it's hard to talk about this sort of thing without seeming silly, I think. But I think that also undermines the impact of all of this on our generation because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter but it does at the same time so I don't know I don't know if that makes sense and yeah I wasn't feeling great the last few days so the impulse to just be lying in bed and like scrolling heavy that's the plan welcome to the vlog let's get into it Okay, I've finished my workout and I've just put some dinner in the oven and it's waiting about 20 minutes to cook and I was like, oh, let's just go on Instagram. No. Instead, I took all my bedding off this morning, so we're gonna put that back on and be semi-productive and just get some things done so then I have more time later to do who knows what. haven't been on my phone much either okay so it looks like my instagram usage today was about one hour just over which is a big drop from last week but still quite a bit i can also see from the charts that i was on there for the longest last night at like midnight when i couldn't sleep so oh well um another bad habit oh this isn't really how i wanted to tell you just in terms of where i'm situated and how i look but for this series I don't know if it's been like a noticeable thing or if it's just me noticing but I'm really trying to avoid using science <laughs> to back up these nice healthy habits because I feel like the wellness and fitness and all of these different like health and lifestyle type content is full of science to prove or disprove all these other theories which prove and disprove themselves and others and it's just like a vicious circle um however i do think there are common trends which i could say and tell you some scary statistics about whether that's working out whether that's screen time whether it's sleep whether it's food i feel like there's lots that you can find yourself and probably for me even these habits that i've built over the years have stemmed from said science definitely have stemmed from certain pieces of that science that has really resonated with me but generally it's like all of the themes throughout are quite generic and intuitive so it's like moving my body 
I can tell you so much different science about different types of workouts, about different types of effects on the body, blah, 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 blah. The general consensus is exercise is good for you. <laughs> I could tell you all these scary statistics about screen time, about sleep, about food, about blah, 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 blah. The general consensus is usually the same. It's like lower screen time is better. Proper healthy sleep is important. Whole foods are better than processed foods. It's like general themes. So I really want to kind of avoid talking about the nitty gritty science pieces of things, if I can help it, which honestly is kind of like, I love learning about it, but I don't, like it's a constantly changing landscape with certain statistics and pieces like that. So I don't know. And this is on the internet, so who knows how long it's going to last. <laughs> but generally, sort of, I just want to follow sort of generic themes and general trends of what I know from experience makes me feel better and is more intuitive rather than I'm doing this because of this number, this statistic, this data and this blah blah blah. Even like I'm not looking at how many steps I'm doing a day, I'm not looking at how many calories I'm burning a day, I'm not looking at how many calories I'm burning during a workout, I'm not looking at all of these numbers. Except I guess in this video where I'm trying to basically lower my <laughs> Oh, this whole thing, just so hypocritical. But no, it's like this particular video where I'm like, oh, wait, this is feeling like too much um, screen time. And I don't have, it's a kind of a point of reference. And I do think numbers are helpful and science helps, obviously. And I love, I find it all fascinating, but I don't want it to be the focus of these videos or this series. That was a really long-winded way of trying to explain that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably going to either read my book or watch some telly before bed. Catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, I had such a good sleep last night and I woke up at about six and then I was very tempted to go on my phone, but I didn't. I kept my phone away from me and I just started my video. What, my video? My day with like an inspirational YouTube video, but I feel well rested. But at the same time, like, I could sleep for another few hours. But we've got work today. And I'm actually very hungry. I'm never usually hungry in the morning, so I'm probably going to have some breakfast. Um, I've sort of mentioned I haven't been feeling great. And that's sort of like a general theme over the last few, probably last month, I haven't felt top tier. So yesterday I ended up getting some apple cider vinegar and some ashwagandha. I've never actually tried ashwagandha. But I know it's supposed to sort of be nice for your nervous system and all over. I think it might be hormonal help. Not really sure. I just know it's like one of those kind of good all around supplements to take. So I'm going to try that for the first time today. I don't know if the supplements necessarily like always help help. I mean, sometimes they obviously do. But sometimes I feel like it's more of that act of, look, I'm doing this thing, this little ritual to look after myself. So gonna do that today let you know how it goes because yeah I've never tried it before and then I've got apple cider vinegar which I always like to take I, I like those quite I mentioned it in a video or two ago where it was the little like wellness shot of like lemon and ginger I love the little kind of like tingly shots of like acid I guess I didn't I just slept on my hair last night and this is what we're working with Getting a lot of curls are coming out at the moment, which I feel like they weren't present for a while, but they're very... It's always on the underlayers though, isn't it? I never know how to translate the nice little ringlets I get underneath onto the top. Happy Wednesday! <laughs> Thank you.
it's doing today. It's like super inflamed. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but it's just after 4 30. I've got so much to do tonight. I've got to pack my work bag for tomorrow because I need to go in. I've got to pack my bag for the weekend. We're going on a trip and we're leaving tomorrow after work. So I need to pack and be ready for that. And I've also got to run some errands and get some things for the weekend. So lots to do. Um, I wanted to work out tonight, but that's not really a priority. So we'll see if see how the time management goes there but I think I'm just gonna go run the errands now and I mean at the very least it's keeping me off my phone <laughs> just about 10 p.m. Um, which is later than I would usually stay up but I just FaceTimed Erin and Keenan for probably a good two hours there which was not a bad use of screen time however I just checked and I think I met like oh I don't even remember what I said what it said I'll pop up what I had on my statistics for my Instagram usage today so not too bad actually and I feel good <laughs> And honestly, I felt like a little bit bored today and I just still didn't go on because I was like, you know what? I don't need to just distract myself. I can do other things with my time. Um, I finished a book on my Kindle. I spent a lot of time with like people on FaceTime and then like my mum and dad and just chatting with people. And I got a little bit of extra work done just because I could, which was nice. I packed up my bags. I'm ready for work tomorrow. And... Yeah, I'm feeling like it's day two, <laughs> but I'm feeling good. I do feel like I'm relaxing more. I had a really good sleep last night, so we'll see if that continues tonight. Yeah, I feel like I feel more energized. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever heard that, like, maybe so bluntly put of, like, I actually have more energy from not doom scrolling. I don't know. That's probably, like, an easy jump to make or an easy conclusion to come to, but maybe I just needed it laid out a little bit more directly for myself but but anyways for tonight good night see you in the morning okay i've just gotten to work and the sunrise was beautiful on the drive and then i only really i checked instagram for three minutes this morning while i was waiting for my coffee and that was good enough. So, well, it's such a beautiful morning after the really cold snap last week. It's not uh, not warm, but much better than minus 20. <laughs> little check-in. Oh, little check-in. I took a little break and I checked Instagram for probably two minutes and I was just going through my messages and someone had replied to something and it was like a genuine, nice, like simple reply but for some reason it like flooded with me, me with anxiety of just kind of like, oh, someone doesn't like, me. you know what I mean? Where it's just like the way that I know that it's a nice message, but how I type, it was just like one of those things where I was like, oh, that emoji's not good. But it's interesting that that was such an unnecessary anxiety just from opening Instagram and looking at a message, which is objectively a very lovely thing. Very wild, but came off Instagram after that and now I'm just back to work but I thought that was just an interesting like check-in with myself of just like hmm. I opened Instagram and like the outside world was just like a lot rather than my present moment it was just too much for me in that at the moment which is good to note and also not my favorite sensation so <laughs> worth noting I thought just that we're going through this week of this habit building together just a potentially interesting thought or not Okay, we are en route to a little mountain getaway for the weekend. Keenan is filling up the car. And it's going to be a beautiful drive. It's sunset through the mountains, driving west. So it's going to be lovely. And we're going to spend the weekend with some friends at one of their cabins. And I'm really looking forward to it. I was so stressed 
coming from work i was like on the verge of tears because uh we've had a busy day busy day at work and then it was like still had to pack and i wanted to curl my hair and like get it sorted before we left <laughs> i wanted to get my hair done before we left and then i couldn't because it was still wet in the morning and i was just like oh god i haven't even finished the first thing on the list let alone the rest of them <laughs> um but i just looked out and keenan was very helpful and now he's burping outside Lovely. Okay. <laughs> Loud as possible. And I haven't really gone on my phone and every time I have today, it's like, because I haven't been going on, it's made me like more anxious than it usually does. So, I mean, it's keeping me off my phone. So there's that. Yeah, let's go. staying up to watch movies or play games but I know I need to really prioritize my sleep and looking after myself because I've been quite anxious and like stressed with work so we're just gonna have an early night be a grandmother I love my grandma life got my teddy so maybe more of a toddler life either way early bedtime for me it's not even that early it's later than I usually stay up it's 11 already <laughs> so yeah, I only did 15 minutes on Instagram today which it was pretty good and it felt good and even like a short time and I've consumed the content that I wanted to so I'm pleased with that yeah so now I think I'm just gonna read try and wind down listen to an interesting podcast on my way to work today about sleep so I'll be thinking about that and I'll probably be up early before everyone else which is fine by me I'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> day and we are going into town. I ran out of storage for editing my video so we need to go get more storage but it's just a nice day. usage went up a little bit today which I'm not really surprised about because we were sitting around a lot and I did make a few posts which makes sense. I did find myself reaching for it a little bit more today which was interesting. It didn't really do much for me so it was okay. We walked around the town for a little bit. I ended up having like a chat with the guy who owns this like a he started a bookshop here two years ago and it's always lovely. I love coming into bookshop whenever I get here and we ended up just chatting for like half an hour about books, which was really lovely. I really enjoyed it and it's just nice to chat with people. And 
then we also went to the hot springs i had a f big nap this afternoon which was not intentional but i like could not wake up so <laughs> that was that um and yeah it's later than i would really want to go to bed so we're just winning all around um so yeah just gonna try and read and head to sleep here pretty soon i facetime my friend for a while as well which is really lovely nice connections with people today and maybe a little bit they're all watching a movie it's really loud upstairs but yes um lovely day i think tomorrow we're gonna go for a walk and get some brunch which i'm looking forward to i'd really like to finish my book while i'm here you can see with my fruit brushes but i'd really like to finish i'm about halfway through blade breaker i've been reading that a bit more consistently now after i wasn't for a while i was bouncing between it and my kindle books but i am thoroughly enjoying it it's brilliant and so yeah I would, i'd like to finish that maybe over the weekend would be would be a goal which would also keep me off my phone less screen time and i'll keep you guys in the loop good night <laughs>
we're heading out now and I think we might be having some car troubles. And that's okay. <laughs> but hopefully we'll make it home. We've left a little bit early. So earlier than everyone else. So I'm happy to be getting home shortly. Well, three hours and or so away. I think we can maybe grab like a... There was one of the cafes here that had a really nice cookie. So I want a cookie for the road. I've already been on Instagram quite a bit today. <laughs> also, I've noticed as like a general theme, my screen time has gone down a lot this week. And then I also noticed my sleep has been so much better and I'm hitting my sleep goal that I've set like every day. So there's something to be said. I'm not going to quote the science, but I will tell you the symptoms or the runoff and results that I am experiencing. It's a very long drive. We once got stuck in a 15 hour traffic jam in like a dead zone with no cell reception on this drive. So the car being a little bit wonky is making me a bit nervous. Hello, hello, I'm all shiny because I've just gotten out of the shower, but I'm home now and ready for the new, new week to start. I'm just going to settle in with a book. I might actually be able to finish it tonight, which would be good. <laughs> but overall, this week, my it wasn't really a habit building, more of a habit breaking, but I really enjoyed it. And I think it gave me a lot of opportunity to really identify and kind of get in tune with myself of like, am I bored? Am I avoiding my feelings? Am I like what am I using this for and to more consciously partake in social media which I enjoyed because I like social media uh, when I use it nicely and when I use it with uh, in alignment with myself so I think about that 20 to 30 minutes a day sort of area felt really nice then what else was I going to say yeah the 20 to 30 minute was good and then also these statistics from the week down 86 <laughs> percent I needed this I needed this and um I also think it's important to note the, I'm kind of doing all of this building within reasonability and within feasibility. And I don't want to like go full tilt into the working out and let me make that my life. And I don't want to go full tilt into like completely ditch my phone. I like social media and I like moving my body and I like like, you know, the small things within reason and within, with a relationship that's healthy for me. So I hope this isn't putting pressure on anyone to like quit or do full tilt anything it's like do it within your capabilities and your framework and nice and gently yeah <laughs> and i think next week i listened to this podcast and i put it up there earlier but um i'll put it here again but it was about sleep and as much as i've wanted to avoid all the science pieces while making this series the science in this got me thinking so i think the next episode will be about sleep and that's going to be the the focus for the next next week but let me know if there's any habits or anything you guys would be interested in seeing because i've got a few in my brain but there might be some that i haven't thought of so it'd be i'd be interested to hear your thoughts and i feel like there was something else i was going to say i'll probably take tomorrow off and start filming again on tuesday and Oh, there was definitely something else I needed to say. Generally, feeling good. These are all building on top of each other nicely, which was the intent. I'm feeling better. I still, I'm noticing some thoughts and stuff are still coming up. It's not all perfect and like working out and reducing my screen time is fixing everything, but it is helping. So that's nice to recognize. Oh, there was something else I was gonna say, but I don't remember. Oh, well, if I remember, I'll put it in afterwards. But anyways, thank you for watching you know do the liking the subscribing <laughs> i can't take myself seriously when i do this but um yeah thank you for watching the likes the subscribes i love the comments anyways thank you i will see you next week